Hello everybody, thank you for watching. So what we have here today is the car camera or car black box by this brand called Mobile Eye. This one on the box is that says uh, Full HD 1080 and bottom it says 1920 by 1080p. So let's uh, take a look and do the unboxing. We'll take a look at how great this unit is. So there's the camera. And let's also take a look at what kind of accessory does it come with. Got the suction cup mount. You got analog TV output. So huh, this one actually also support analog TV, not just HDMI, which could be a bonus. Uh, you also have a cigarette lighter charger, USB cable for charging, con uh, connecting to a computer, HDMI cable, and a user menu. Let's focus on the camera itself. So this is a actually really nice design. Uh, it's slim. It's made of aluminum casing, uh, so it's really sturdy and really good to look at. It looks great. Uh, you also have the monitor right here. This one doesn't have the stowaway monitor, so you don't uh, have a monitor uh, that you have to flip up and down. Uh, on the front here, you see the lens. This is uh, there's a button right next to it. This will actually control the the angle of the lens. So if I show you like this. You're looking down, you're looking straight, you're looking up. So it gives you the opportunity to fine tune your viewing angle. Right here is the microphone, because uh, it's also built in um, audio recording as well. This hole is for mounting the suction mount, so it's a little screw like that. Just turn and twist, should make sure it's nice and tight. And there you have it. Really simple setup. And I like the I uh, like that the design actually contours towards your windshield so it can sit nicely right on top of the windshield so uh, really discreet uh, let's take a look so of course we're gonna make sure we put in our memory card so we can do the testing I always recommend class 10 just to make sure you get a fast enough card to do the recording okay let's turn it on this unit actually has built-in battery as well Okay, so the first thing that you might see, if I can zoom in here, is right now it's configured to be 1080p HD. And on the left hand side, I see a number 5, that is the recording interval. So every clips that you recorded are 5 minutes in length. You've got the battery indicator, you got uh, SD card, showing that you're using SD card, uh, date and time. Let's take a look at uh, the settings, the settings menu here. So if I press this menu button here, these are all the buttons on the side. Uh, first thing we see is resolution. So let's take a look. This one gives you a couple more options than the other one that I did the other day, uh, the K2000. So this one offers you 1080p HD, which is supposed to be 1920 by 1080. 1080p is 1400 by 1080, I believe, 720, uh, WVGA, and QVGA. So the quality goes down as you work down the list. So I do recommend keeping the setting as 1080p. Um, however, this unit, upon further testing, I realize it is not actually true uh, high definition. I think the pixel actually interpolated, so they are, they are almost just... Um, half as much as they, what it says to be, so this could really be well be a 720p camera. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous video that I've done, the quality of these cameras are actually determined by uh, the lens, of course, and also the CPU that's inside the unit. Uh, the, some, the, some of the expensive CPU give you better resolution, faster frame rate, uh, whereas this one, even if you have it set to the highest definition, it still looks like 720p or even worse. So I do believe this one is using the cheaper central processor unit. So don't be fooled, guys. Although they might look exactly from the outside, uh, the quality could be the difference between heaven and hell. Uh, Settings-wise, uh, you got the typical loop recording, so you don't have to uh, format the card yourself, or just take out the first one and replace it with the newest one. So first in, first out. Motion detection, audio recording, date and timestamp, really important. Uh, 
uh, the second menu here date and time settings auto power off uh, languages frequency tv mode these are for output and of course formatting your card with the format button here so let's take a look at here so all these cameras usually have three recording mode this one is the video recording mode so actually recording you have if I press this button here, this is the digital camera mode, so you're actually taking digital pictures. Press it one more time, this is a playback menu, so if you hit the play button, you'll see what I recorded earlier. Okay. Press it one more time, back to video recording mode. Yeah, so uh, I have already uploaded an actual test footage of this uh, unit, so you can feel free to go on there and compare with the other one that I've done and you can see it for yourself which one is better I do believe the K2000 have better performance than this particular unit here um, Mobile Eye is actually a really great brand really great design but it actually de it really depends on what chip is being used inside so always make sure you're getting the, the one that you want when I got this one this one is actually a $20 uh, more expensive and then a K2000 so I'm actually a little bit disappointed about this unit uh, but uh, none of the less is a really great design really discreet so yeah there you go there you have it